We're here with Dr. Bin Chen, Senior Applications Chemist at PS Analytical, talking about analysis of mercury in water. Dr. Chen, how do you recommend people go about stabilizing the mercury in their samples? Um, our users ask me these questions a lot. Apparently, it's very important um, issues in the uh, mercury analysis in water. Um, usually, we collect water samples in the field, um, in the river, in the lake, and by the time you ship your sample back to your lab, the mercury has transformed or absorbed or lost. So stabilizing mercury in your sample is absolutely crucial. Most people use nitric acid because um, nitric acid is commonly used to stabilize the trace metals in general like lead and etc. But um, nitric acid is not particularly helpful in this case. Uh, when mercury is at such a low level, um, halogens such as chloride and bromide is much preferable because they form a very stable complex with mercury that keeps mercury in solution, therefore stabilizes it. And uh, we, the easiest way to preserve or stabilize mercury is just to add tiny amount of concentrated nitric acid into the sample. Or the second method I can recommend is to um, use uh, a combination of hydrochloric acid and bromine. In this way, not only you preserve the sample, you also digest the sample at the same time. So I recommend to use these two methods. Mm -hmm.